This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Drive sober or get pulled over. And we're back with pineapples on the rooftop. We are? Yeah, didn't you hear? Oh no. Hear what? Do you know what's going on? What is? What's happening? The Hack Shop is delivering pineapples via drone to your rooftop. I heard it's about this. It's kind of like Santa. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of like the thing that Jeff Bezos was talking about. Crazy cat, Amazon. Wow. He's so cray doing? cray. Yeah. He's so cray cray. No, I love that. He's, Do you know what happens if you, if you aren't there to get your delivery? No, what happens? They destroy your pack package or it gets stolen by aliens. Oh. Well, you know what happens if Amazon delivery drones are flying over your house? What? Skeet shooting with prizes. <laughs> you know, if Amazon tried that in Missouri, that would probably happen. You think so? Yeah, they'd be like, oh, that's a big bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, like extreme <laughs> control. Look, look, Han, I got an iPhone case. <laughs> we love you, Missouri. Um, I'm from there, I can say that. Yes, you can. <laughs> no, we actually are going to be delivering. So this is just a tease for what's to, uh, coming up after the Wi Fi series. We're kind <laughs> this of like, is so janky. With, it's not janky. Look at all these rainbow colored rubber bands. Whatever. Whatever. Tying on a working. horrible looking cell hey, phone. Hey, hey, this is the cheapest prepaid cell phone I can get where I can wow. buy a SIM card in cash and then fly Ooh. over stuff and then see the telemetry through Google Glass. Ooh, yep, with that's the projector, cool. projector, not projecting pornography onto the neighbor's oh lawn. Oh, God. Uh, don't try this at home, <laughs> kids. We are professionals. Wow, this is like 17 year old Darren. <laughs> we are going to have a lot of stupid fun and oh get no. ourselves in trouble. We're going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> yes. Uh, this well, fun. we'll talk more about like our, our pineapple mesh network delivery node system and perch and monitor and all of those other things. I just thought that we had some fun. Oh boy. Um, and speaking <laughs> of all the fun, like this mesh network thing has brought together more fun than I ever wanted to have in the uh, the lower levels of the uh, the OSI. I <laughs> I'm learning like okay, there's. There's a thing about the physical link layer that's uh, that's not as much fun as the higher levels with the application layer or the politics layer that's overarching. What? There's always a politics layer. We'll get into that in a sec. Um, but you there lost is something me. there is something really nice. Well, we've been talking about you know radio stuff where it comes to oh, like yeah, yeah. you know cable loss yes. where you, your signal degrades the longer your cable is and things yeah. like that. And you know I've just been like making mistake after mistake talking about like well. You know, well, actually, and, and it's great because I love the ham crowd that comes in and corrects me because I learn so much, but uh, there is a difference between, I talk about VISWAR or the, the standing wave ratio compared to cable loss. No, they're not the same, but yes, they do the same thing yeah. in that we're talking about the degradation of your signal. The nice thing is, though, when we talk Wi-Fi, typically speaking, you see this? This is a package mm -hmm. deal. It's the magnetic base with the SMA, ex, you know, cable and the antenna, and this mm -hmm. has all been done with the same ohms value, all ready to go. Kind of, I don't have to think about it. And so that's that's one of the nice things about the ISM band and Wi-Fi versus the you should probably go to school and learn this before you start tramping over frequencies that aren't yours. And props to you guys, ham radio operators. And yes, that's where the FCC does play a very important role in making sure that people aren't driving their monster trucks over school buses full of flaming nuns. <laughs> Get the crap. Oh, that's so sad. Well, speaking of all of this awesomeness, we actually did get an email from a fan that I did want to mention to you. So this is from Al G. He wrote in about Wi-Fi mesh. So all on top of, you know, what you're talking about. Regards to FCC regulating encryption on amateur bands, the FCC recently held a panel to discuss the use of encryption on amateur bands. The argument was made that hams working with the Red Cross and passing P2 on patients violates the HIPAA. It was shot down. And you have a great platform to bring a bunch of tech-minded people aboard and start to swing the opinions on things like encryption. Yeah, that's one of the things about, you know, I love... You know, I, I am a good Boy Scout. I play by the rules. I understand the needs for, you know, getting a driver's license to drive on the roads yeah. or getting a license to use certain uh, radio frequencies and just prove that you're not an idiot. Right. And, and that's cool. Like, that we can sense. all have lots of fun here with this consumer stuff. But, um, yeah, proving you're not an idiot is good. What I don't like is, uh, you know, this kind of ties in with the fact that the FCC, if you become an amateur radio operator or a ham radio guy, yeah. you can... Uh, but, you know, you can potentially use channels one through six of the Wi-Fi band mm -hmm. that overlap and use, like, a much higher uh, signal power yeah. and make Wi-Fi links that go for days and days. And <laughs> that's cool stuff, except 
uh, the FCC has a provision when it comes to packet radio, uh, just like they have for you know using voice ra uh, radio, where you can't say the you know f you can't drop the f bomb oh. or say the c word or any of those things. Yeah. Well, the same provisions apply to encryption. Really? And so uh, we've had some questions about that. And yes, it applies mm. to not only the encryption on the, like the, you know, whether it's WEP, yes, that's considered encryption, or WPA, WPA2, yeah. as well as, say you're sending plain text email, however the email happens to be GPG encrypted, that's still considered encryption. Oh. I've, I'm not positive on this, but I've heard that you can, in some cases, use some sort of ciphers if the cipher is public record, as in if you like go to the FCC or the, put it in like, you know, in public records, like here is the password I'm using. Yeah. And uh, that's, it's interesting. I, I just don't believe that like, you know, I, I understand access control, but I don't believe in censorship. And, uh, and you know, the internet is so beautiful and I don't want to get on this tangent because I've already done a whole episode. Uh, the, see the talk that I gave at the Hacker Spaces for the last Hacker Across America on you know, access versus censorship versus identification and the, the three pillars of networks. Um, and I just don't like that the, you know, in order to do really cool packet radio stuff, you have to identify yourself every, I forget what it is, like 30 seconds or something with your, you know, issued handle and your, um, and you, you know, are limited on what you can and can't say. And it's mm -hmm. like, I understand why these paradigms exist. Uh, trust me, if my, you know, if I were a government and I was trying to keep my citizens under control, it would make the most sense to do. Um, so, anyway, it all just leads me back to being very thankful that we can have fun in the ISM band. So let's have as much fun that we can legally. Um, and I thanks for sending that in. I know fun. that I, I know that you know transferring patient data over unencrypted stuff does violate HIPAA, and this would be a good platform for me to get on that bandwagon, but I just, I don't feel empowered in that sense. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Am I wrong? Hit me up. Feedback at hack5.org. Totally um, wrong. Maybe. I mean, maybe there will be enough of a groundswell where people are like, not use encryption. I mean, we've got a whole generation growing up that has like both a understanding that everything they do is monitored online yeah. and an understanding that encryption can protect your privacy. Mm -hmm. So if those same people are the ones that are replacing the aging ham crowd that is going out, then m maybe the FCC will just have to adapt. But we're also talking about governments adapting to innovation. Yeah. And that's never been quick. <laughs> well, let's have some fun, shall we? Yes, let's have some fun. So right now in the hack shop, because it's the holiday, mm. we're having sales. Oh, we have crazy specials on like pineapples and sales. duckies and all sorts of other stuff. We've got yeah. goodies. Um, and so head over to hackshop.com because it is the best way to support us directly. And yes. we absolutely thank you for that because we couldn't do this without you. And luckily you don't need any coupon codes or anything for any of our holiday sales. So get on it, limited, limited time, and it just depends on availability really. Yes. So get them while you can. And uh, don't forget that you can always find the ways to follow everything that we do online. Uh, you want to be following us on social media for whenever the next big project is, you're going to yeah. want to follow at snubs on Twitter. And at Hack5 Darren on Twitter. That's Thank your Twitter, right? Yeah, that is. Hack5 Darren. Yes. I've been having fun with I've been I was going to say at Darren Kitchen. I've been having fun doing video blogs with this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, where's mine? I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Are you Cyborg Town? I am Cyborg. Join me in Cyborg Town. I'll join We're you. We're doing some fun hacks with these, too. They are yeah. really, really chatty stumped. on the Wi Fi. Yeah, yeah they yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> don't, if you. You get the opportunity to become a pine or become a pineapple explorer. <laughs> become a glass explorer. Don't take your pineapple to the fitting facility at Google because. Um, Did you do that? I didn't do that. You know that. Anyway, I don't want to see things on camera. <laughs> I know. We'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next week. Until then, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morris. Trust your techno lost. Merry Christmas. From December 13, 2013 through January 1, 2014, state and local law enforcement will be out in force cracking down on drunk drivers. They'll see you before you see them. Drive sober or get pulled over. If you've been drinking, get a ride, call a cab, or find some other safe way home. If you see an impaired driver on the road, contact law enforcement. Your actions may save someone's life, and inaction could cost a life. Getting arrested for drunk driving can cost you a lot more than an arrest and a fine. You could face legal fees, court costs, the loss of your license, and even more. Nobody ever gets in their car thinking, I'm drunk, I'm driving, oh, I'm just gonna get busted tonight. Nope, 
People drive drunk because they think they won't get caught. And about a million times a year, they're wrong. This could be a checkpoint that you don't see till there's no way out. It could be a cruiser parked with the lights off. It could be that set of headlights behind you that you don't realize is a cop till they hit the siren. But time after time after time, the cops see you before you see them. And then it's too late. Or people might think, I've had a few drinks, but I'm okay to drive, or I only live a few minutes away from here, or I've gotten away with this plenty of times before, and they think like that right up until the moment that they kill someone. Remember, drive sober or get pulled over. Where's our Christmas decoration? Next week. Okay, Google. Oh, oh, Fly a oh, 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 okay, Google. Search Christmas. And then this military guy was up at the bar and he was like, dude, can I try your Google Glass? I'm so interested in this. How did you get them? Are they public already? And I was like, no, they're still in developer. But yeah, you can try mine. Here, take a picture. And he was like, okay. So he takes a picture and he goes, and he was drunk. So he goes, oh my God.